It's EBK every day, all day, to the day I die. It's EBK, EBK, EBK. What's good, Hanthi? It's EBK every day, all day, to the day I die. It's EBK, EBK, EBK. It's your boy, Conejo. What's good, gente? It's your boy, Conejo. And as you guys can see on the thumbnail, man, I ain't on the title. We're going to be speaking on little Ant. And what happened to him, right, when it came to this whole YouTube. And I'm going to give you guys a little bit of history if you don't happen to know nothing about Ant or who the hell I'm talking about. I'm going to give you guys a little history on them as well as what's going on, man. So with all that being said, before I get started, man, make sure to hit them likes, hit that subscribe button, hit that share. And also, man, make sure to drop comments to let me know what you guys think. And don't forget, when you hit that notification bell, make sure you hit on, man, so you don't miss out on anything, and especially when we go live. So with all that being said, man, let's get started. So little Ann happens to be someone, well, I, have, I guess I have to go back, right? Apparently, little Ann happens to be someone that used to strive for the Norte, right? Used to be someone that apparently at one point happened to become a bro to at least to what primo and these other compas say right which me personally i think is bullshit and might be a lie right because if you know who i'm speaking on or if you know him personally you know damn well this motherfucker was never part of no bro or nothing like that right especially because of the way he acts and, con and conducts himself but apparently he was a bro to what people say and ended up defecting um through time and ended up becoming a writer supposedly this person ended up becoming a writer on the 180 yard supposedly um, i can't confirm that like i said um, not everybody is really open when it comes to their paperwork and putting it out there like that right but apparently he became a compa and and he's been doing this playboy thing ever since right but we all know that like especially the day oneers that have been tapped in with the channel your boy uh, ended up making the channel to pretty much speak on the writers and fix certain little things when it came to that group, especially from being called Knox to Dolphins, Tweakers, and all this other shit that people were spreading out there uh, on the YouTube Yarda, right? And I pretty much had to come in here and clear some shit up that, yeah, there's Tweakers, there's certain people that, that do conduct themselves like that, but it's not all of us, homie, you know, so don't, don't add us all up to the mix. So I ended up making my channel, but it ended up not going my way, right? Even though I felt like I, I ended up fixing some things when it came to the group, um, it didn't go my way. I got into it with a so-called founder, and I mean, I don't have to bring you guys up to date, but apparently uh, around that time, um, this little guy ended up becoming a uh, secretary, right? He ended up bumping up. Um, there was some new policies and changes when it came to the writers, and he ended up uh, having to fill in some shoes that were quite too big for him, right? I mean, this on this 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 on me right here is only four feet tall, and he was wearing shoes that belonged to someone that had to be at least six foot and up, you know. So it, it wasn't fitting him. It, it didn't fit his his thing, and he ended up wanting to come on YouTube and and having the compas man uh, jump on and and tell you how it really is behind that wall. Which, hey, in all reality, man, hey, I was all for that, right? Like, having the compas jump on and, and speaking on certain little things that, that go on and happen. And the daily struggles when it comes to that group. So, old boy really thought that he was going to be making million-dollar moves, homie. But it got shut down. Um, we all seen what happened on the last live that he did try to have someone on. I believe it was Primo. And he, he was saying some things. But ended up cutting off the life early. And one of the reasons why, man, was because he had let the compas down, bro. He, you know, um, he was making it seem that he was going to get all these views and pretty much put, put the writers on the map, you know. Like, he was making it sound hella good. But in all reality, man, when he jumped on, he never knew what to even say, you know. That was his main downfall when it came to the little ant man, eh? Uh, he didn't know what to say. And he always expected someone, right, that was a little bit more gamed up to jump on and, and speak about certain things. And even though Primo is someone that, when it comes to the writers, happens to be a little bit, um, he happens to have a little bit of knowledge and as well as respect when it comes to a, a, a group of the writers, you know, uh, they do respect the individual. 
So he tried to use their name and stuff like that, but the way he conducts himself and acts, homie, uh, not a lot of people like like him, you know. So his career, uh, like I said, he got he became a secretary and was using a name like to stand out uh, or to give pretty much orders to the rest of the compas because that is one thing that he did do as soon as he was promoted to secretary. And let, let me put this out there, man, that, that secretary promotion, it's not uh, something to be proud of, right? Let's be quite honest, man. Um, old boy got that promotion because no one else was really giving old boy the time of day to answer his phone calls. This is something that a lot of compas can, uh, that actually tapped in with Snoop and all that. Snoop talks too damn much, bro. Like, that fool speaks way too much, right? Half the time, he's giving you his little fucking stories, which uh, most of the time, more than likely, going to be a lie, right? He puts 20s on it and, and just runs with it. So a lot of the compas don't really answer his phone calls. So the, the, the people that do answer it, of course, man, he's going to take advantage of the situation and give him that heat, you know, because it is hot, bro, when you're doing relaying messages and, and all this. It gets hot, man. You can get locked up for shit like that because people, you got to understand that the law enforcement and all that, man, they see, like, the messengers or whatever, right? Uh, like, some type of shock caller because he's there over there directing uh, some type of message like, hey, bro, this is what's going down. This is what's going to happen. And like I said, man, um, old boy did get uh, the little power thing to his head and he did start making phone calls, right? And, and doing a little too much. But in all reality, man, uh, it kind of backfired on him. I don't know if he got scared of the heat that he was causing on, him, uh, on himself or he was just uh, stripped, you know? He got stripped by Snoop. Like, hey, fool, I'm not, I can't fucking let you be doing this type of things because you're over here going to fucking make the whole round flag go to shit, you know, just because you're over here fucking wanting to politic against the homies from Watson and shit, you know. Um, so it ended up backfiring. Uh, I, I did make some phone calls to see if old boy still has his phone and, and he's still in communication. Old boy, of course, he still has his phone. You got to understand when it's an Obama phone, they don't really get disconnected like that. Apparently, you just got to be checking in and they'll continue to have your phone activated. So this is something that old boy does have. So he's still in communication. Just not a lot of people are, are wanting to tap in or pumping him up to go on YouTube because they kind of seen that he was a failure, homie, when it came to the whole YouTube. Um, not that many people were fucking with them, especially because there was no interaction with the audience. Most of the audience that were tapping into his channel were some of my, my, my subscribers that tap in hella tough with me, and they just wanted to go get their clown on, you know, on, with old boy, but old boy didn't uh, last too long, so he's seen that he wasn't going to make it on the YouTube yarda, so he decided to grab his bag and roll it up. You know, he rolled it off the yarda, homie. So he's no longer gonna be on YouTube. I did leave some couple comments to see if he would tap in to see what's going on, right? Cause like I, like I said, man, at one point we were all right. You know, we were all right. I mean, I'm not gonna say that we we're best friends or anything like that, right? Because me personally, I never really been cool with people that are drug addicts. Let's just be quite honest. That's just never been my get down, but he did let the compas down because I, I did notice, uh, at least on some of those videos that he did put up, where there was actually a few compas that were looking forward to that. Like, you know what, man, that's actually some good shit that you're doing. But in all reality, old boy didn't keep it up front and let them know, like, hey, man, there's already some compas that did it. Just that we ain't fucking with them or I ain't fucking with them and challenge with them fools. You feel me? Um, so he wasn't too successful and you got to understand that in prison, uh, there's a lot of people that have phones and stuff like that. So they were able to see that it wasn't really too popping, homie, and it wasn't going to go anywhere. So a lot of the compost decided to say just chalice, homie, and they ain't fucking with them like that no more. Like, they might talk to him as a compa, and he might still be the secretary, right? Like I said, he still got that, that phone. Uh, the homies did say he's not in communication as much as he used to, but it's probably the way he could, because the way he is, homie. So a lot of homies ain't really wanted to fuck with him. But compas were able to see that old boy was just on, on a sick one. So they pretty much told him childish. And, hey, I hope I'm wrong, man. I hope that with this video, he decides to come on and be like, nah, childish, I'm still on the YouTube yarda. And he just ended up rolling it up to a different building, homie. Ah, but we'll see what happens, right? 
at the end of the day um that is and right there as you guys can see he's not no longer with us on the youtube yarda but if he does decide to pop up and let us know what time it is what's going on hey we'll we'll be there to hear it and to react to it so with that being said gente that's gonna be it for this one I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, man, make sure to hit them likes for your boy. Make sure to subscribe. Hit that follow, that notification. Share with others, right? And also, drop comments to let me know what you guys think. Or if you happen to know the, the person personally and you happen to be cool with them or not cool with them. Hey, let me know in the comments, bro, so that I know what's up. So with that being said, you guys already be knowing what's up. This is your boy, Conejo. And I'll see you guys on the next one. You guys already be knowing.